y'all, Crystal with MrsHappyHomemaker.com here, and today I'm going to show you how to make tie angels. Angels made out of recycled, repurposed ties. Now, I posted a picture of a few of these on uh, my page a few days ago, and it went crazy viral. I had no clue it was going to get that much attention. I got hundreds, I mean hundreds of emails, folks asking me, Crystal, how do you make the tie angels? So, here is the tutorial of how to make your own tie angels. So, list of supplies. Obviously, you're going to need some ties. I got mine at the thrift store fairly inexpensively. You're going to need some jute cord or something similar. A hot glue gun. You're going to need some miniature ornaments. I got mine at the dollar store. 15 ornaments came in here for a dollar. It came with half of the white sparkle and half of the rose gold sparkle. Look at the sparkle in that. So pretty but you can choose what other, whatever colors and finish that you would like. You're going to need some ribbon. I prefer the ribbon with the wire on the end, so bending is really easy. This is to make the angel wings. So just be creative, what other, whatever colors and patterns you want. Use your imagination. <laughs> now for the angel's halo, I really wanted to use uh, gold sparkly pipe cleaners because that would be so easy but i could not find any anywhere so what i ended up doing is i had this copper wire and i've got some of this um, pretty ribbons here's the gold one here's a gold thin ribbon and so what i did was um i crafted a halo out of the wire and wrapped it with the thin ribbon so if you can find uh gold pipe cleaners use those if you can't there here's something else that you can use to make a halo so get your tie and lay it out with the thicker end pointing towards you. Now with this one, I measured um, one foot up from the very bottom and that's where I cut it at. I want this one to be a little bit shorter than this one. So instead of measuring one foot, I am going to go 10 inches and I am just going to cut it and you could draw it, like draw a line if you want to, but I'm just going to go with a straight snip. So you have this piece now, and at the back of it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open it up and pull out the stitching. That was fairly easy to remove out, and you're gonna take this material that's inside of it, and you're gonna cut a good inch straight across off of it and discard it. Now we have removed that inner material. I'm gonna take these corners and I am going to fold, let me turn it this way. I'm gonna fold them down just like this and I am going to hot glue it to hold it. All right, maybe you can see a little bit better. So this material is taken out. I'm gonna take these corners and I am going to fold them down like that and I'm gonna hot glue this in place. Now we're gonna take this part and we're going to fold it down just like here, just like this, and we're gonna glue it. Now this is, when you get here, this is how long your angel is going to be. So if you want it to be shorter, you can trim it and glue the glue and trim it. Now we're going to put some glue right here, some hot glue, and we are going to fold it down Press down to make sure it adheres, and that creates a little loop inside. Now get you a piece of jute or something similar and just thread it through. And then we're going to tie it up just like that, make it a knot. Now we're gonna trim the ends off. Trim that one a little bit more. So you have this, so you have this gathering. So now we have this little gathered area that's the perfect place to glue her head, which is an ornament. So I've got one of my ornaments and I'm going to glue this and just like here, just like this. So 
So just put some hot glue down in there. And then stick the top of that ornament down in there and press it down and hold it to make sure that it, that it seals. So now we're gonna take the opposite end of the same tie. And what we're gonna do is we are going to tie a knot in that tie near the end, about two to three inches from the very end, just a regular knot. And then we're going to cut it where the knot is in the middle. Now to get the praying hands on, so here's the back of it. You're gonna take your hot glue and you're gonna glue one end there, loop it around and the other end right here. And then press down to seal. Now this is what we have. Now you're gonna get your ribbon and you are going to measure out how much you need to make you a nice bow, cut it to length and make your wings. And you can make a bow however you want to, um, but I simply just take that in, put it in the middle. I glue it like this and then I scrunch it down in the middle and then I glue it onto the back like that. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so this is what we have now. Now this is where I wish I had a gold sparkly pipe cleaner because I'm about to fashion a halo out of this wire and uh, which, I'm gonna use this one and this ribbon. <laughs> now I'm making a halo out of my wire if I had a gold sparkly pipe cleaner, that's what I would use instead because it would be way easier. But like I said, I could not find any and I wanted to show y'all how to make them, so. So I just twist it all the way down and I bend it. That way I've got like a, a way to put it on top of or, or glue it on the back of it and it stay. And now I'm gonna take this ribbon and I am going to wrap the wire. First, I'm going to tie a knot on it. That way, I have something to hold it there. And now, I'm just going to start wrapping this wire with this ribbon. All right, so I've got it wrapped, and I've got my end here, and I'm just going to glue this in the position that I want it to be to make her halo. And look, there's our little angel. Now on this one, I tucked in a little um, piece of copper wire, I actually ran it through, poked it through the fabric to make a little hanger so I could hang her really easy. This one, I think I am going to tie some thin ribbon around her neck and make a bow and then use that as a way to be able to hang her. Now on this one, I did not add a bow or anything, but I am going to add a bow to this one's neck, up to you. So now she has a little bow. Should I add a bell or should I not add a bell? I don't know. Uh, I think I like the bell. I'm gonna add a bell. So I got these bells at the Dollar Tree too. They come in all different kinds of colors. I got gold. So I'm gonna take some more of my gold ribbon and I'm going to thread it to the top of this little bell. It has a little spot to do so, just like this. And now I am going to tie it on the angel's praying hands in a double knot. And you can make it as long or as short as you want to. And I'm gonna take this ribbon and I'm actually gonna tuck it inside of the knot. Just a little bit. <clears throat> and this is what we have. <laughs> Are they not adorable?
Yeah, I definitely like them better with the bells. What do y'all think? Y'all, I have some of this um, blingy ribbon, so I attached it to the gold ribbon, and I just made this this blingy angel. She's very sparkly. She's very, very sparkly. I thought about putting a bell on her. Here's a bell, so I'm sure it looks like. But I felt like it might be a little bit too much going on because she's got the sparkly face and then the sparkles on her halo and the sparkles on her wings. So, I don't know. I might end up adding one later. I'm not sure. I think this one is my favorite. I don't know. This one's pretty too. And there's this one. 